I made myself an iced coffee to get me through this video. So this <laughs> this video is going to be um, the haul to Eric and I's yard sale footage for Friday when we went out. We went to a church yard sale as well as a couple of random yard sales. So the church that we went to, we both enjoy going to. We always seem to find stuff when we go there. It's not necessarily put on by the church, I don't think. Um, I think someone just, I mean, some of the money might go to the church, but I think that like um, someone just like gets like a family together and they just compile all of this stuff and then um, use the church to, you know, sell all this stuff at. I could be wrong. It could be put on by the church. Who knows, Michelle? Who knows? Um, but anyway, I really like going and it was funny because I know I had said in my rummage sale video, like only so many people are allowed in and you have to have like temperature checks and everything like that. And at the church, everyone come on in. <laughs> There's like no limit. Um, I mean, obviously you have to wear a mask, but other than that, you know, they didn't care how many people were coming in. It was a pretty big line of people. Um, so, but yeah. We found a lot of stuff there. Again, I think my bill was around $20, maybe a little bit more than that. And I got a lot of stuff. So I'm going to show you what I got at the church sale and then also what we got when we just went to a couple other yard sales. So in no particular order, I'm just pulling out my box. I got this Vintage Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles Christmas stocking. When I first saw this, I didn't know for certain if it was vintage, but it is. I could kind of just tell by feeling it. Um, I know that seems so weird, but I have older stockings like this, like, you know, from my childhood that feel the same exact way, if that makes sense. Um, but I'm pretty sure this is Michelangelo. Maybe not. I don't know my turtles. I'm sorry, guys. There are a couple little spots on him, but I'm just going to use a little bit of shout to get them out, and we should be good to go. So there's no date or anything, but I am like 99.9% .9 sure that it is um, an older uh, stocking. So got him. Thought that was a good deal. They do sell well. This here, this was funny, like we were standing in line to check out and there was a lady in front of us and there was a box beside her filled with stuff. And I mean, my box was full of stuff too. So I just kind of assumed it was her stuff and I thought maybe she was just kind of like kicking it up towards the table, but she didn't. So I was like, okay, so this is just a box of stuff that wasn't really put out. They just kind of sat there and you could rummage through it. So I pulled this out, this little figure here. It is Fisher Price. Um, does it have a date? Do you have a date? 2002. So it is an older um, toy. It's called Rescue Heroes Gil Gripper. Looks like a US Coast Guard. So while we were in line and waiting, I just since it was new in the packaging just got out my phone and scanned the barcode on ebay and found out that it was selling for like 30 dollars so i was like okay we're gonna put this in my box so i got that those are always fun times um i got this picture i thought this was so cute it's shaped like a lemon a lemon You'll have to excuse me. I'm drinking my coffee and it's like settling in now. It's marked Made in Italy by Ancora. And I was seeing these sell decently. So I decided to pick it up. There is like an ever so slight chip on this bout. But the one that I saw that sold also had a small chip and still sold. So I decided to get it because I figured maybe they were just like harder to find kind of thing. And if someone like 
has their kitchen decorated in lemons or something like that, then this is not a lemon. Did I, have I been calling this a lemon? <sighs> you guys, <laughs> I apologize. This isn't a lemon, it's a pear. So this pear pitcher, <laughs> some people might decorate their kitchens in pears. Who does that? I don't know, I was thinking of a lemon. Oh wow, I need a nap. I got this guy because he <laughs> is Disney, this little Mickey Mouse um, with a little top hat. He is a coffee mug and he's marked Disney Japan, so he's definitely older. It just needs cleaned up. Um, I don't think he was selling for like a lot, but um, in one of my other videos um, when I was talking about um, picking up stuff that kind of like relates to other things as far as like Disney stuff goes, I actually have a pin that I got at a yard sale for a dollar, a little Disney pin, and to list it on its own wouldn't really be worth much, so that's when I like to lot things together. So this pin might be lotted up with this mug, so just throwing that out there. If you have like little things that aren't really worth a whole lot, but they kind of go with something else, you could just lot them together to kind of get it out and, you know, maybe price your item slightly higher than some others because yours comes with a little um, freebie kind of thing. I got this shirt. This shirt is by Chase Authentic. So it is a like racing shirt. Some of these do sell decently. This one is Bobby Labont and it's a size extra large. So it's a good size. So we pick up racing shirts every now and then. Like I said, some of them do sell um, decently, especially if you're only like paying a dollar or less for them. Got this little kitty cat planter. This is definitely older. This was a dollar. They had a couple different ones, but I'm always torn about picking these up because I have other ones and they just, you know, don't really sell all that quickly in my opinion. Uh, but this is marked RB, made in Japan, on the bottom there. So, but since it was a cat and it was really cute, decided to just get it. I'm trying to get my, like, breakables out of here. Um, I got this little pitcher for 50 cents. And this does say Atlantic Mold on the bottom. So, I don't know what you would describe this kind of glaze. It kind of reminds me of paint splatter slightly. <laughs> I don't know. I'm sure there's like a technical term for it, but I'm not quite sure um, what it is. But I decided to pick it up for 50 cents because I was drawn to it. Eric got this shirt to sell. Um, it says farm all 806 and it's got like a farm tractor on it. I don't really know. I don't really question his purchases because Eric is the kind of reseller who will look up everything before he buys it, which is smart. That way you're not stuck with stuff that might not really sell. Um, but me as a reseller, um, if I'm getting it for super cheap, I don't even really bother looking up. It just depends. Uh, but for the most part, I go by intuition. <laughs> and what I know. So, um, so far it seems to, to work out for me. So, but um, I will occasionally look stuff up if I'm really not quite sure. Um, I got this Tupperware measuring, um, measuring cup, bowl, um, but it has the lid. So these are pretty desirable, um, especially ones that have like the little spout pour lid. I think this has a term like the pour. I don't know. Anyway, it was a dollar and I know that these are fairly desirable. So I picked it. I picked it up. We'll just go with that. I picked it up. So vintage Tupperware. I know about some of it, not all of it. Um, let's 
see, I got this little Bath and Body Works gift set. This was only $1, it's brand new. It comes with a kitchen lemon uh, foaming hand soap and a kitchen lemon hand lotion for a dollar. I thought that was a great deal. I hoard hand soaps, um, kind of like I hoard candles because they don't really necessarily go bad and I always have a nice hand soap. So I do plan on keeping the soap. I'm probably going to give the lotion to my aunt. Just because I like the smell of lemon, but I don't want my hands to really, like I don't wanna be lathering on lemon scented things because I just associate lemon with like cleaner, kitchen cleaner. And I don't like to necessarily smell like it. So I'm going to give her the lotion. Um, I got these older, <laughs> who remembers bananas in pajamas? Bananas in pajamas are coming down the stairs. Bananas in pajamas are coming down in pairs. You guys remember bananas in pajamas? Oh my gosh, I loved that show. Anyway, bananas in pajamas merchandise is definitely can be worth money. So I got these guys, I don't know, you know, what she charged me, probably like 50 cents, like a quarter a piece. Um, but both of them, B1 and B2, and they're in, they're in their pajamas, obviously. So I just thought those were so cute and I like never find bananas in pajama stuff ever. So that was like a super exciting find for me. This also came in that elusive box where I found that Fisher Price toy. This was the second time around because Eric and I went back in to look around and make sure we didn't miss anything. So I happened to like poke around in that box a little more and I found this Old Spice shaving mug. We just sold one of these not that long ago. This one is a different ship, I think. It's called the Schulten. At least that's what it's marked there on the bottom. So we just picked that up. I took this um plastic trash can this may have at one point had a lid um obviously it doesn't anymore but it is in nice condition and it's just this like mustardy yellow color it has a little bit of a flower detailing here but i know um and one of you guys told me in my comments that like older vintage trash cans can be um good for resale especially like metal ones i think particularly particularly um this one is plastic but I still I really liked the look of it the style of it and if someone has you know that retro colored uh, bathroom or what have you um I don't know I just decided to get it so we'll see if it sells or not I took this for a quarter I thought that this was super pretty and interesting I'm not quite sure exactly what you use it for, but it reminded me of custard glass. We sold a Fenton custard glass fairy lamp already before um, for really nice money. I don't know if this would be Fenton or not. I feel like it says something on the bottom, but I can't tell exactly what it is. So I gotta do some research on this unless any one of you recognize this but it's just really nicely well made and interesting and unique, kind of disgusting looking in all honesty. Like, I don't know exactly what it's supposed to resemble, maybe a flower, hopefully not a porthole, but um, for a quarter, I just figured I'd get it and we'll go from there. If it's not worth anything, I only paid a quarter. If it's worth a lot, then cha-ching. Speaking of, I found some vintage Lisa Frank. This is always something fun that I love to find is vintage Lisa Frank. And these are actually Halloween themed, which makes it even cooler since Halloween is coming. Uh, but these are Halloween party favors and they just look like little insect rings in there, but they're still in their original packaging. So as far as Vintage Lisa Frank goes, the one way you can tell if you're not certain just by looking, um, cause I had a lot of these older Lisa Frank things when I was younger. So like I can tell just by looking at them cause I had these. Um, but you go by the 
the Lisa Frank name when you see the capital L and the capital F. That's like a dead giveaway that they are vintage. So that was a fun find. I don't really know if those in particular are worth a whole lot, but regardless, I like picking up vintage Lisa Frank when I find it. I got this set of vintage Tupperware measuring cups. These are an interesting color. They are um, kind of like a mustardy yellow, like honey mustard. So I got those and I like selling older Tupperware, like especially like measuring cups, the measuring spoons. And this will be my first, that measuring cup, like this big, this big one. That This will be my first um, pick up of something like that from Tupperware. I recognized this, but I don't know if it's like actually from something or if these were just plushies they made back in like my day. Um, but it is marked Dakin, D-A-K-I-N. And it just reminded me of like a troll and the little heart that he's holding says, I love cookies. And it just spoke to me because who doesn't love cookies? I love cookies too. So that plush is just everything essentially. Um, let's see. I took this turtle soap holder. He was 50 cents, but look at those sassy lashes on this turtle. How cute is that? So I don't know who it's made by. It looks like it would be older, but, you know, there's no saying if it is or not. Uh, but I was just drawn to those eyelashes, so I got him. I took this Victoria's Secret Wild Scarlet Body Mist. I did not look up this fragrance, so I don't know if it's harder to find. Um, but some Victoria's Secret fragrances that are, you know, no longer made can be worth money. So I just threw it in my bag. I probably paid like a dollar for it. I got a pair of men's roller skates. These are marked hard candy and they're dirty. They definitely need cleaned. Um, but Eric and I, we looked these up and they seem to sell um, even in used condition for a decent amount. Um, the sign said sports shoes were $3, so I assumed these would be considered sports shoes, but when we got to the checkout, she said she wanted $8 for them. Um, but we decided to get them anyway. Um, roller skates seem to be pretty hot sellers right now, um, so when I see them at a decent price, I like to get them. Speaking of roller skates, I also... <laughs> I also got this pair at a yard sale for $1. These are in really nice condition. These are by Chicago Skates. And these definitely look like they're from either the 80s or 90s, I would say. They are a children's size five. Um, I'm not quite sure what that is in women's size. I need, I need to look it up. But like these probably would fit me. I have fairly small feet. I'd guess maybe looking at them, I'd guess like a six or six and a half maybe in women. So we got those to sell. They were $1. I got this at a yard sale for 75 cents. It's a little salt glaze. Um, I don't know. You could probably use it as like a vase or just, you know, a decorative piece, but 75 cents. It is marked Shiloh Pottery 89 on the bottom. So I thought that was a nice piece for 75 cents. I got two pairs of shoes, high heeled shoes. These are by a company called J. Renee. And I sold a pair of shoes by this brand before that we got at Goodwill. And their shoes are just very unique, very colorful. These have like a snake skin print with this really pretty vibrant coloring on them. So these were 25 cents. And then I also took the other pair by the same company, J. Renee, at the same yard sale. These ones are red and black snakeskin heels. Again, 25 cents for those. 
I got a Pokemon plush. I don't really know if he's worth much. This is the Snorlax. But he's so stinking cute. And I know Pokemon is it's pretty popular. So I thought maybe he would sell. Maybe even potentially closer to um, Christmas. As like a little, I don't know. Little stocking stuffer or something. He's just so cute and lovable. With his little chunky chunky tummy. So I got him and he was I think a quarter. A quarter of 50 cents. And then I got this plushie here. And this is by a company called Jelly Cat. I had never really, like I, I'm not like a big plush seller. I'll sell plush, especially vintage plush that I know about. Um, but I don't really know a whole lot about plush. But I was seeing, and I don't know if it was like on an eBay, Facebook page or something along those lines, of this brand called Jelly Cat that makes plushies. And I happened to go looking, like I looked up Jelly Cat plush on eBay. And not all of them sell for like a ton of money, but if you look at like any of them, even like on the lower end side of pricing, like when you click on the auction, it'll say like one washed in the last 24 hours and you click on another one, one washed in the last 24 hours. So I feel like it's a plush that kind of sells just really quick. Um, so I was telling Eric about this specific brand of plushies. I said, if you ever come across any plushies by this brand called Jelly Cat, pick them up, especially if they're like super cheap because they seem to be like quick, quick sells. So we were at a yard sale and lo and behold, I find a Jelly Cat plush um, still with its tag. So that made it easier to like figure out that it was Jelly Cat. Um, but it's a really cute plush. This is a giraffe, a little red giraffe. He's super soft and snuggly. He's got like beans in his um, hands and feet. And then his little mane is just these like fun little scraggly bits. So his plush, like his butt tag also says jelly cat with the cat. So it's easier, you know, to, to figure out that it's a jelly cat plush. So yeah, I was so excited to, I was so excited to find one because I had just been talking about it and I never, never found one because it's not something I was really ever looking for. So now I know to pick up some Jelly Cat plushes. So hopefully you'll see him in a cha-ching soon enough. But that is everything for this haul. Um, hope you guys enjoyed it. You'll have to let me know what you thought down below and I will see you next time.